Harper's Pub patrons. Um, I was just enjoying a Friday night. I got done work and enjoying my normal triple combo of a Diet Pepsi, Bullet Bourbon, and a an, uh, Trogues Perpetual IPA. The great way to end any Friday. Um, and I had a knock on my door and this box came and I didn't know what it was. And then I realized that I, after I opened it, that it is my Baldur's Gate 3 Deluxe Super Premium Super Fan Extravaganza, right? Which I, um, obviously here at the Harper's Pub, we're huge fans of Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I think several of us took off work to play Baldur's Gate 3. Um, so of course a year ago or whatever it was, I ordered the Super Premium package and they were a little late getting it out and I forgot about it and it's here. So I figured I would unbox it um, and we can open it together. So I think in a true unboxing, you're not supposed to cut the box open before you start the video. But like I said, I didn't realize this is what it was. So that's okay. Um, so let's figure out a way to try to pull this out. Packaging, so that can go there. All right, let's reposition this. Oh, I messed up. If anyone's wondering what we played. I played an evil wizard to start out with, and I went full tadpole, um, full evil ending. I will say the evil, um, the, end, the evil ending was a lot shorter than the good guy ending, from my understanding. But it was a lot of fun. There is tape on the side of the box. I don't want to ruin the box, so I'm pulling it off very slowly because the art on the box is very nice. Like I said, I would try. I would really hate to have a paint streak in it, but we'll see if I can do this effectively. Yeah. All right. Number one's good. Right, you can see the top, you got the elder brain. Oh. Um, you see the I'm gonna plug sides to get the rest of the tape, but you can see the gif. Um fighting the mind flayer there with the dragons, the dragon riders, right? And then the elder brain on the top, pretty cool. And um slowly pulling this tape off. Just a little piece of tape. But I'll get that later. So, this side you can see the uh, the mind flare imagery, right? And then we have all your companions. Pretty cool. And then the other side, it looks like it looks like a lot of the the Ulithid, like the big master mind flares. Pretty sweet. All right, let's actually. I got the PC version, as you can see. I uh, wanted that month early, even though I ordered this a year ago, so that's not why I did it. But whatever. And it looks like this easily slides off. 
Oh, that's good. So even if I mess up the tape, they have that nice cover there, like a book jacket almost. Similar art. Um, just looks kind of cooler. You can see some thralls there. And then let's see if I can actually get in this thing. like it slides off again. More careful with that one. And we got more packaging. So this is my, I like the wax seal. Um, the official Baldur Skate wax seal that's not really wax but nice imagery so you open it up and you have that certificate of authenticity there All right pretty cool and I number 07799 which is nice it has some nice symmetry to it All right and then I have put that here I get the character sheets for all the companion characters. So you got Will right there. Um, it's actually like a whole folder. Has their backstory. Tells you that he's the son of El Duke Ravenguard. So in my first playthrough, minor spoiler alert, I killed the druids and I didn't get to hang out with Will. So now I'm doing my second playthrough as an orc paladin uh, modeled off of Worf from Star Trek. and. Uh, I get to meet Will, and then I just realized he's the son of Raven Guard. So pretty cool. Carlac, everyone's favorite female companion. Her backstory, ideals. Oh, they have, that's cool. They have their ideals, flaws, traits, all that stuff. Neat. Asterion. We'll go through these ones a little quicker. Shadowheart. Lazelle. I'm going to be honest, my first playthrough, I really liked Lazelle. And I really liked the story, though. About halfway through, I decided I'm not going to free. Well, see, now I'm a spoiler. I'm not going to do something that she wouldn't like. So uh, I had to stop hanging out with her, but I thought she was pretty cool. Um, and then Gail. Gail has a funny moment where he asks if you want to learn magic. And then if you say yes, like five minutes later, they're trying to get you to have sex with Gail. It's like, I just wanted to learn magic, dude. Um, drink some of my bullet. So we got a bunch of cool stickers. It looks like the flying elephant creatures, badger, dragons, um, owlbear, boo. I don't know if that's an imp or like, I'm guessing it's an imp. Um, the metal guard guys and the um, the Ulu Thong or not Ulu Thong, what are they called? The uh, the intellect of ours, I forget their real name, Rachnalon. So, pretty neat. And then all the stickers for the various classes. In real life, I'm a bard, though I do really enjoy Paladin. If I uh, it's not always, there's builds out there, but it's not the most effective multi-class. But if I could multi-class, that would be my multi-class. Um, splash of Paladin, but mostly Bard. Um, I also really like Warlock, so I guess I just have a thing for Charisma. And then we have the players, so we got, you know, the whole gang. Um, Minthera, Boo, Lazelle, Wills, um, that Mindfire guy, you know, no spoilers on who that is. Um... I got the whole set. Who has the glasses? I, sh I feel like I should know who that is, but I can't figure it out. Oh, well. Um, cool. What else we got? This up. So there's a cloth map of the Forgotten Realms. I think that's what it is. Let 
Maybe not. Oh, maybe it's... Okay, I, it's a map. It's, this is obvious, but I couldn't figure, figure it out. It's a map of the game world. So you have Act 1 and 2 over here, and then you have the full actual Baldur's Gate, which you get to in Act 3. Um, pretty cool. I'm sure that's going to be in the hanging on the background for some of our videos now. That's pretty neat. Got this whole John here. Philly, we say John's. I was wearing, I was starting a first fire. It's very October-y, so I got the beanie on. First fire of the season. We're about to hit October. Um, so it's starting to get cold in that fall weather, which we really like here in Pennsylvania. You got the cool, this, you know, showing you what the statue's going to be. This is just an art book from Boulder's Gate 3. Same art as the background. Um, you know, different looks for characters like Gale. So I'll be excited to dive into that. There's a lot of stuff in here. Gazelle. All right. Cool. Ooh, the gauntlet. The gauntlet of Shar. I actually, I didn't know a lot about Char before this game, but I think Char is, I mean, I knew who she was, but I didn't know, like, the details. She's pretty cool. Um, I think she was in Boulder Skate 2. There was a cleric of Char 2. That was a drow. Someone was telling me earlier. I think that, that was our friend Childers. He's in the group. He's playing 2 right now again. Yurgle. The Church of Yurgle. I don't know if this element is supposed to be Elminster. It kind of looks like it. Armor and clothing. Maybe not. I don't know. Pretty neat. This. Oh, I got a pack of magic cards. We're going to save this. We're doing a, a draft. I think it's a couple packs. We're doing a draft in a few weeks. Um, of, just, of only the D&D sets for magic, so it's nice. I'll probably, maybe I'll use those three for my draft. Okay. And then like the two, we're well, really the creme de la creme. Looks like there's some assembly required here. All right, is this, does he fit in here nicely? Tucci usually assembles all our stuff, so 
doing this on my own. It's kind of tough. Let's see. Does this come out? Oh, there you go. All right. So you can see you got the Mind Flare. This is like the, the main item, right? The main ticket item. So it looks like you're in the Underdark based on like the mushrooms and all that. Very Underdark feel. You got this main character who is wearing the like Drow Manthera armor. Um... Once again, like, I feel like I should know who that is. I don't know if that's just supposed to be representing your PC. Kind of looks like a drow. I don't know if it's that dritzed. I feel like I, once again, some people are going to be like, you're not a, you're not a good nerd. But uh, he's fighting the, you know, big mind flayer. Super cool. You got some details like these swords on the side. So really excited to have that on display in the bar. Right. I can actually get it to stand up right. Then you get the D20. That's the uh, the D20 dice from the game, right? But it's huge. Uh, it's made of metal. It has a nice feel to it. Um, and it has that the uh, Baldur's Gate 3 logo. Um, okay, so it's the Larian logo is where the 20 is. I guess you could do it either way, but I'm, it makes sense for Larian to be the 20, right? And then you got the Baldur's Gate 3 logo with the Mind Flare for the one. So super cool. Probably gonna be using that in the stream for dice rolls. And then last but not least, my favorite thing, I this is the thing I'm looking the most forward to, if, I, if I'm guessing what this is correctly. The tadpole keychain. So, I'm just gonna eat this thing. <laughs> Get my lifted power. So you can see the tadpole. Super cool. Gonna put this on my keychain right now. Like I said, this is the thing I was looking the most forward to. Uh, my character went full tadpole. His first, the first playthrough. So, super exciting. All right. Thanks for watching. Like I said, just got this in the mail. Enjoying my Friday night. Wanted to do an impromptu stream. Um, we'll be streaming again next Sunday. Um, check it out. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. It was definitely worth it for me. Like this is just kind of a once in a lifetime thing for a D and D player to be able to get this. So um, I'm really happy that I did it, um, and I'm excited to have this in my bar. And there's nothing that I'm like disappointed about. Obviously, like it's just super cool. So play Boulder Skate Three. Enjoy it. Um, you know, post what you like below. Watch a stream every other week. Um, drink a, get a nice drink on a Friday night. All right, cheers. Thanks for watching.